like players climb in terms of like level, when you see the top players, like self destructs happen less and less. Of course, they do happen, but y y the better players are, are always going to have the better time recovering as well. That's right. But now we have Larry Lur versus I'm Hip. Of course, uh, I'm Hip, another player from the Inland Empire, does very well for himself here at the locals. You can see he's already advanced to winner's semis against Larry Lur, a player I haven't seen for quite some time, but still rocking the fox. Yeah. You know, at this point, I really expected him to just stick it out Hello, with Wolf Falco. and Falco for a secondary slash fun time. Yeah, interestingly enough, I, I, I think he just knows this matchup is like, He's not going to be able to do it with the secondary, and he just doesn't want to deal with it, knowing... Like, he, he's absolutely, like, respecting the, the hell out of I'm Hip right now, the fact that he's using Fox. Because he definitely does typically not use the Fox at locals, but we're seeing it now. And a relatively even game, I'm Hip with the edge guarding here. The down tilt's connecting into the fan. The... Oh my god. That's right. Triple Illusion's getting beaten out by down tilt, and then closing out the stock with an up air. I mean, you can respect your opponent all you want, but I think at the end of the day that I, I was really expecting Wolf versus Olimar. That's true. I mean, Wolf does do great. Um, I just think he's like so much more comfortable, probably more comfortable with, with his uh, this matchup just over years of playing it, right? That's true. Okay, good use of the whistle. The whistle does give you super armor, which allowed him to go through that up tilt and just straight up reverse the situation. Ooh, again, doing it, really making use of that whistle. I'm hit, securing a safety back on the ground. He's gonna get the double jab into the grab. No follow up from there. Larry landing with the neutral air to dash attack. The up air actually hit both parts of the whistle and he just kind of kept falling. Yeah. <laughs> he, Olimar did not care. Yeah, the whistle armoring through the uh, up air attempt. Uh, Larry able to pick it up with the up tilt on the landing. The, the whistle is pretty good. If you can time the frames it has for armor, it's a good hit. Not only does it reorder his Pikmin, but it, it, it provides that sort of uh, assistance as well. And that's a classic confirm. Nair into up smash. I mean, we've been watching foxes do that for what feels like centuries. <laughs> centuries, man, <laughs> dog. We're down to our last box right here. I'm Hip and Larry fighting down to the wires. Up Double, air. triple up air. Four up airs. Who's juggling Five who? Five up airs. Who yeah. was juggling who there? Yeah, I mean, I'm Hip looking like he's making a case for uh, who's a better character, Fox or Olimar. I mean, at the very least, it might even look like Olimar has a better up air with the, the amount of times he's able to connect it. But a dash attack does connect, and we see the whistle coming out strong, oh! but it does not matter as he gets sent up into the skies. Making it count when it matters. And I think um, the last time I'm Hip and Larry played was at Heart of Battle, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. Yeah, and I'm, I don't remember exactly how it uh resulted but I think it was a close set so that, that would be another reason why like maybe like maybe Larry did try the Falco and the Wolf before and it didn't work out and he's like yeah I'm just gonna go with what I know for this one I'm just thinking about like Larry's playstyle and how he's just so how he, he gets a lot of mileage and damage off just ledge traps I mean he, we even saw that in game one he just landed like four or five nares um, and dash attacks at the ledge which just continued to rack up the damage and Wolf can do that better than Fox in this game oh yeah Fox uh, still to be developed a little bit. I mean, I think we've seen like really good Fox play with Light and ZD, and pretty much it may actually be just everything that we have that Fox has to offer, outside of a few like niche combos or here and there. But only yeah. time will tell. And right, right now, uh, the percents are dead even. Both sitting at 100, and I'm him catching the anti air with the up air. Securing that first stock. Yeah. I'm Hip only had one Pikmin, but it was the purple Pikmin. And especially in these kill situations, that's the one you're going to want by your side. Dude, I'm, I'm Hip surviving for so long off of those up airs just now. Armoring through two of them. Finally, a third up air going to connect and even out the stocks. Larry trying to find his way back in. Coming in with these dash attacks. Yeah, Whistle got beaten out by the up tilt. Now going for a grab, but forward air going to connect onto Larry Lur. Dash attack. And just keeping I'm hip at the ledge, but I like the cross up recovery. And now he's, uh, we're back center stage. All right, armor through the up airs yet again, able to get his own punish off of that. Larry with the grab here, down throw. 
just the stalling out on the right side. He doesn't have to commit to ledge because as soon as he does, he's going to have a limited amount of invincibility and it's going to allow Larry to set up a trap. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and what we're seeing right now is basically exactly why I'm not like super surprised. What? Oh, he might be dead. He should make it back. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. Firefox uh, did get buffed. It is huge hitbox now, Ooh. and it's uh, pretty powerful. And he's going to land on him with that back air, too. Larry Lur up to uh, one stock right now, but he is approaching death percent. Or he really is at death percent already. Fox being pretty light in this game. That's right. But uh, I'm Hip did lose did lose this purple Pikmin, but I guess you don't need any other Pikmin when you got the blue one. Yeah, he's gonna you just throw stock. them all in the air. I like that. Like... The Pikmin always get hyped when they do the up throw because they like all put their hands in the air and they jump, <laughs> <laughs> like at the club. <laughs> yeah, and I mean it, it, the animation itself actually like uh, if you have more Pikmin, it's the knockback is it's gonna kill a little bit earlier, and if you have less Pikmin, it's gonna kill a little bit uh, later. And alternatively, if you have more pool, Nair to up smash, gonna do it. Centuries, centuries. Two O. We've been watching that for centuries. <laughs> that's, that's classic, and that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> like it's like it's a new game, and yeah, Larry's been playing a, a bunch of other characters, but he's got four years of experience doing exactly what we're seeing right now. I mean, did he have four years? Is that it? More than that. <laughs> I mean, at least at least four years for for for, for Smash Four. Right, but right. Yeah, uh, he he's he's got the brawl experience and the me melee experience, so he's got decades. Yeah, he's got decades. Some would say centuries. <laughs> I think you would say centuries. <laughs> I I am definitely some. <laughs> but okay, good start for Olimar or I'm Hip as Larry Lur tried to start off very offensive, but instead he ate an anti air into a couple an up smash into an up air. Yeah. Wow. He shined the Pikmin that was on him, and that Pikmin did not care. Like, he still attacked Larry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think the, the shine hitbox is, like, too strong, so I kind of... But imagine, it is oh. a reflector, so it should, like, at least say, hey, go the other way. <laughs> but it, it, it had already latched on, or what? Yeah, yeah it oh, had a lot on If already. it was on him, I don't think it would, like, shoot him off unless he, like, reflected, like, 13 times to actually KO it. <laughs> But here we go. I'm hip up a stock right now. Mm -hmm. Stuck at the ledge. Larry, this is like where he's really strong, and he lands with that backer, punishing the get-up attack of all things. That's right. And especially, with, that's got to be a really hard move to aim with the back air. Because it is uh, only horizontal, and Olimar is really small, so you had to, like, space that perfectly. Yeah, and not only that, but the, the get-up attack is it's like, low profile even for Olimar. It's like, <laughs> dang, he really hit that back air super low the ground. Dropping, he has a white Pikmin on him. He's gonna do a good amount of damage. Wow, I almost did the full 30. Ooh, okay, dash attack just gonna get up by that purple up smash. And I'm hip, still up an entire stock right now. Not if Larry has anything to say of it. He's at the ledge. I like that. Get rid of that purple Pikmin. That purple Pikmin's going to be pesky. It's going to give you a lot of trouble. What is the option? Down tilt at the ledge. Oh, you know what? That actually makes sense. Olimar's ledge hang is horrible. Yeah, I just realized bad. he's got his big head hanging over the ledge. That is true. Some characters, they will hide uh, below the ledge, makes them uh, harder to hit when they're at the ledge. Uh, Olimar happens to be one of those characters whose hit hurt boxes extend past the ledge as they're grabbing. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. So oh, good tech. Good. good tech from, from I'm Hip. Getting him away from that up smash. Oh, that's going to be it. I'm hip with a really dominant two-stock coming out for game number three. And he's going to keep himself alive in this set as we move to game number four. That's right. Larry Lur dropping a game to I'm hip. And now it's going to be it's going to be Larry's counterpick from here on out because he did get the, the first yeah. two games. Yeah. So what that's, stages that's right. do you think I'm hip's going to ban with this matchup in mind? I'm hip is going to ban... I don't know. <laughs> he, he would probably ban like Battlefield just because of the platform extensions. Uh, and then for the second stage, probably, I'm not too sure. I, I don't know, that, that's like a more of a, co a comfort thing, I guess. But Battlefield, I would say, just because of the platform, the triple platform. Yeah, I feel like it would be Battlefield and Yoshi's. Yoshi's. Oh yeah, he's just gonna die super early off yeah. that one. So I, if, it, if I had to pick two stages to ban, for sure. Okay, well here we are on Pokemon Stadium 2. Both of our players uh, starting, not starting as explosive as they have in the previous game. You see Larry really slowing you down here in game four.
but yeah, he gets those Nair into dash attack confirms. Nair into F tilt as well by the ledge right here. Keeping I'm hip a bit trap. Neutral air tries to punish that uh, aerial, potentially trying to time a release with a, for the parry. Ooh, the whistle coming in clutch for I'm hip once again, just armoring through the up air. Really surprising because up air is two hits, but uh, Olimar's armor in this game just doesn't care. There's that white Pikmin immediately gets it off him with that neutral air. Larry does not want that. Uh, white Pikmin obviously is doing the most damage as they're latched on. And a forward smash there, going to move, be moving up the stock. And that was so smart from Larry because the forward smash, uh, it was, you could tell that I'm Hip was trying to, to come in horizontally, and it's just a big horizontal wave of a kick. All right, forced recovery here. For, ooh, <laughs> I'm Hip trying to parry the up B. I'm not sure what kind of punish he was going to get there. Maybe a down smash. Uh, but at that point, he would already grab the ledge, so two frame wouldn't, wouldn't be working out for him. Yeah, if anything, it just led him, uh, allowed him to stay on ledge, yeah. not being in any shield block or, or hit stun. True. Just these up airs to continue to shark. Uh, I'm hip. Landing in front of him again, going for the F smash, but it doesn't work this time. Okay, parody up smash, not gonna connect either, and he's gonna miss the up smash punish. Uh, oh my god, Larry knowing that up smash is such a dangerous option, has very little lag. Olimar just able to throw it out, anti air so well with it, and the back air by the ledge again, securing yet another stock. Larry. Yet to lose one with I'm hip on his winner side life. And I don't know if you've noticed, but Larry is actually doing a really good job of keeping track of what Pikmin is next in order. Yeah. Because whenever Larry uh, was approaching I'm hip and he had the purple Pikmin next, he would shield expecting a big attack to come out. And then once that purple Pikmin was no, no longer in the order, it was back in the line, that's when he would be offensive. Oh yeah, it's super, super scary stuff here for I'm hip as well. All right, catch, tries to catch a jab block, but not gonna go far enough as Larry gets the roll. Ooh, illusioning across Ooh. stage, but that if that down smash isn't gonna connect, well, especially with Firefox going right for the ledge. Another forward smash, can we get the edge guard? No, the illusion is gonna connect. Mm -hmm. And now I'm hip center stage, he's looking, looking for his anti-air, but Larry drops down, gets the up tilt into an up air. And that's gonna be 3-1. I know the, the uh, scoreboard didn't quite represent that, but it's a 3-1 victory for 